All right, Stanton Moore here, and I'm going to give you a practice pad lesson on this go-to lesson that is Academy lesson number 16 in my Stanton Moore Drum Academy. So hopefully if you dig this, you'll come check out some more of what I have to offer on the Academy. So this go-go beat, I'm going to start off with a linear go-go beat that I picked up some time ago, and a lot of this is explained in the lesson, so I'm going to move quickly through this and show you how you can apply this on the pad. So basically, this linear go-go idea, you can play with your right foot just kind of playing on the floor, and you can work a lot of this out up on the pad, and then you can apply it to the kit. So here is that groove practiced on the pad. Now, even though you're practicing on the pad, you want to practice with good time, and you also want to make it groove. So you want to do this with a metronome or play to a record, but you can work this out on a pad and get 75, 80, maybe 90% there just on the pad, and then you can apply it to the kit. So even though I'm touring the world, playing drums all the time, I don't always get as much time behind the drums as I'd like to. So I've had to get adept at working stuff out on the, on the pad as I'm doing right here in the hotel room. So now, because we're moving quick, because a lot of this is spelled out in the lesson, you might want to check out this more traditional go-go groove. And the way that that goes is you would play that bell pattern in your left hand. And now maybe we can even move that over here. And then you can also maybe move your hi-hat over here and slap the snare, slap the pad for the snare sound, or vice versa, play hi-hat and play that for the snare. So I'm gonna play hi-hat here and put my snare here and put my bell here, right? So. Right? Now, that's a basic traditional approach to playing go-go where your right hand is just going But as I developed this, I started to realize that my right hand was very comfortable doing this. Which works great in this go-go context. Right? Now, that can work great when you're putting the right hand on the rack tom or the floor tom. So, but as I was saying, you can work out a lot of that right here on the pad. Now, sometimes if volume's an issue and I'm in the hotel and I'm worried about not disturbing some of the other guests, I could put a towel down on this table maybe so that I get less volume that way. But you can also practice all of this just here on the pad too. So the next step in this is I introduce Swiss triplets to this and I like to call this David Garibaldizing something because David Garibaldi was the first guy that I really could find I started applying Swiss triplets to any right, right, left, right, right, left type of sticking. So you can start to apply Swiss triplets to this and if, you're need, if you need to be refreshed on the, on the Swiss triplet, you can just take right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. And then you can add Swiss triplets. You can add the flam to that right, that first right, and that'll make it into a Swiss triplet. So if you need to work up Swiss triplets, you can totally work those up here on the pad. Right? So, now let's take that and apply this to this groove. Again, I'm going to play my left hand over here. And then I'll play on the pad, and then I'll move over here for the snare. So.
So you can work up this David Garibaldization of this sticking. You can work all that out right here on the pad. Right? So hopefully this gives you some ideas of how you can get a lot of stuff done on a pad and then get ready for when you actually have time on the kit. So hope y'all dug this. Thanks for checking it out. And I'll see y'all down the line.